Hi, this is Chef Alan. Today, what I'm going to teach you is uh, just my salt, uh, sea salt chocolate chip cookie. It's actually a very simple cookie, but it tastes very nice. And uh, many people have fallen in love with this particular cookie. And I do make a lot on every festive season. Okay, now I'm going to introduce the ingredients, which are pretty easy. And at the same time, you can actually get it from my book called No Nonsense uh, Baking which is actually a cookie book, all right? Now, what we need here, of course, you have the main uh, actor for the day is the chocolate chip, all right? It's here. You can buy any brand, all right? Not necessary to follow me. The other main ingredients that you need will be uh, bread flour, again, any brand, and, um, okay, bread flour, and of course, we need cake flour. This is the highest gluten level and this is the lowest gluten level. We need caster sugar. We need some brown sugar. Alright. Uh, cocoa powder. Sea salt, which is important. I'm getting the pink organic sea salt. And then we have our baking powder, vanilla essence. And of course, we need unsalted butter. Again, why I use unsalted butter is because if you need the salt to be added, you can actually adjust the salt level. If you buy a salted butter, you may not be able to know how much of salt is in the butter. And then we need only one egg. The other utensils that you need will be baking tray. And of course, you need things like uh, parchment paper. Right, Buy those that has, uh, is already greased or they call it greased uh, parchment paper. All right, And you need some uh, ice cream scoops. You can use the small one, medium or large as you wish. Uh, for today, I'm going to just try out both, okay? But usually what I do is I use a small uh, ice cream scoop. The first thing you need to do is to melt your butter, all right? You melt your butter over a stove and then after that, for about five minutes, uh, when it's a little bit brownish, you take it up, put it into a mixing bowl and then you fridge it. Now, you've got to fridge it for about 45 minutes to one hour. Uh, that's the speciality of this particular cookie. Then, uh, I have already done that. Uh, I already leave it in the fridge. So, just wait for a little while. And uh, you, before you start uh, the baking process, what you need to do is to preheat up your oven. Preheat 160 degrees Celsius. Use a top and bottom heat and um, for about 15 minutes. Now, each oven is different. So what you need to do is, uh, you've got to adjust your own uh, temperature and also the timing when you're baking this particular cookie. The thing I want to mention is, I only bake one tray at a time. Now, there are many ways of doing baking cookies. Now, some of them ask you to use uh, fan mode and then you can put two layers at one time. It's not wrong, all right? But I find that baking one tray is much easier because I don't have to take out the tray and then uh, the temperature will be lower and so forth. That's the reason why I bake one tray at a time and at the lowest level of your oven. So, before we do that, I need you to mix all the flour together and then we shall sieve them again three times. Why I sieve them three times is because I want to aerate the flour so that your batter will be lighter than usual. So here I already have my bread flour, uh, cake flour. I have, uh, I'm going to add in the cocoa powder. Now the cocoa powder, I will need about uh, one tablespoon. So each teaspoon is actually five grams. So I'll need three of them. Alright, now when you're using home uh, spoon, usually what you do is when you're measuring, please do it in a heat full like this, okay? But if you're using the real measuring spoon, then I suggest you have to usually level them, okay? That is the difference because you can actually see there's a depth difference. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sift this three times.
And I would like to stress again, before you start anything, please wash your hand. That is for, um, you know, safety reasons. And uh, you don't want any of your thing to be contaminated with your dirty hands. So usually wash it first before you do anything else. Now I'm using a large mixing bowl so it's actually very easy for me you can see that the flour is actually mixed very well alright um, so leave this aside okay and then we can uh, take out our butter now my butter after you have uh, put in the fridge for about 45 minutes it will actually solidify alright but because of time constraint I'm just teaching you the process and then you can do it uh, by yourself at home, all right? So what we need to do is, you can see for yourself, it's actually solidified, all right? All right, so put it into your mixing bowl. And then you give it a, a stir. Give it a good stir. Just let it roll a while and then we can add in our uh, sugar. That is the brown sugar and the custard sugar. You go on low speed, alright, and then you add in all your sugar. Okay, and increase the speed to a little bit uh, medium. Prepare your eggs. As uh, in my other programs, I actually ask you to always knock it first before you add in the egg. So you got to beat the butter for about 6 minutes. Then, while we are doing that, the egg we have beaten, we will need to add in some vanilla essence, which is about 1 teaspoon. You mix it in with the Egg, and then give it a stir. Then meanwhile, we can measure up uh, our sea salt. We need about one teaspoon as well. So just let me Now you may want to scrub it down. Just let me open it up and we scrub it down. Okay, so we have mixed for about 6 minutes, alright, then you go on low speed again, we add in our egg and vanilla essence, and you roll for about 20 seconds. Alright, then you go on low speed again, you add in your half a teaspoon of salt sea salt let it roll but do not overbeat it and then slowly we will add in our flour mixture we go on low speed when you are adding the flour mixture okay add one tablespoon at a time but do not overbeat them Okay, and what we need to do is we add in all our chocolate chips. Okay, and then you stop your machine. Alright, bring it up.
Okay, you can see the mixture. Can you see the mixture? Okay, so just give it a good mix up. Alright, some of the flowers are still there. So just use your spatula and then just mix it up. We have to chill this for about 20 to 30 minutes. What we're going to do, we are going to clean wrap it. Okay, we clean wrap the mixing bowl and then we put inside the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes and then we can uh, pipe them uh, onto our baking tray and then we can bake them. The baking time is very short. It's only about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, but they are tasty after that. Okay, so after chilling the batter for the cookie for about 30 minutes, it's ready. What I need to use is just an ice cream scoop. So what we do, we just scoop them up, okay? You don't have to shape them. So just scoop them up, but don't overcrowd your uh, baking tray, all right? What I can do here is, I normally do for about 16 pieces on one tray, all right? This is not meant to be in a round, round shape, okay? So it doesn't matter. There you go. So it's as simple as that. And then what you need to do before you put into your oven, preheated oven, just sprinkle some more salt on top. Just a little. So it becomes your salted chocolate chip cookie. Alright, that's it. And then we put inside the oven and we bake for about 20 minutes. That would be uh, good enough. But of course, after 15 minutes, please check. And the other thing is, um, as I said, the oven, your oven and my oven are different. So always make sure that you got the right temperature. If you can, use an oven thermometer to calibrate, calibrate it, so it will be good. Okay, so we put into the oven and we wait for the outcome in about 20 minutes. Okay, so after 20 minutes, this is the result of your salted chocolate chip cookie. You can see how nice it is and the fragrance is very nice. It's a very nice uh, cookie. It's uh, crispy on the outside but it's a little bit moist on the inside. Alright, so try it at home and uh, again the recipe will be on the Facebook of Tampanese West CC. Alright, okay. So what you need to do, once you remove from the oven, just let it cool down on the wire rack for about 15 minutes and then you can store in an airtight container and uh, you can keep it for about two weeks, all right? The other thing will be if you like saltish, all right? So what you need to do is once you have already plate them on the baking tray, you sprinkle more salt on it. But um, I like a little not so saltish. So I just give it a sprinkle. That's all I do. Okay, so it's your preference. Anyway, this is the salted chocolate chip cookie and uh, I hope you have enjoyed what I've teach you today. Alright, thank you and uh, good day. Bye-bye.